and gentlemen, welcome to this week's edition of Insert Coin to Begin Presents Let's Play. I'm your host, Chauncey Says, from InsertCoinToBegin.com. Joining me this week is Bobby FJ Town and Riz IUP, both contributors to InsertCoinToBegin.com, where it is gaming news for gamers by gamers. In case you haven't... Huh? Shut up! <laughs> In case you haven't tuned into the show before... Here's how the format goes. Each week we have a variety of topics that we uh, answer and debate and yell at each other about. Because that's what we do. We yell at each no, other. No, we don't, Chachi. Um, and each and every week, the first question of the thing is, what are you playing? And did you play the challenge last week's challenge being sound uh, song, song pop? Song pop. Bobby. Uh, I didn't play the challenge, but I made Jiffy Pop. Does that count? No. No. Okay. Um, I've been playing Borderlands, trying to catch up before Borderlands 2, which came out today. I bought it. Didn't play it yet. Uh, I've been, I bought uh, Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Uh, GT5, which I'm going to talk about a little bit about my experience with that on the PlayStation 3. 50 minutes of install time, and then my PlayStation's like, oh, you didn't do the system update, so... I had to wait another 20 minutes to play the game. So all over an hour to play a game for about 10 minutes. <laughs> um, I've also been playing Marvel, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 and uh, Marvel, Marvel Avengers Alliance. And I'm um, waiting to play Borderlands 2 because I really want to play it. Bobby? Yes? Why didn't you play the challenge? Yeah, Bobby. I did. I don't know. I just didn't have time this week. Bobby, that's your challenge. You you I, you never have cha you never have time. Riz, I yes, I played the last two challenges. Oh, we're moving on the Riz. It's Don't my turn. Move on the Riz. I'm not done talking to you yet. <laughs> <laughs> Riz, <laughs> did you play the challenge? And what are you playing? I played the challenge, and um, let's see. I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show you right now how <laughs> awesome I am at this game. I don't care. I'm just gonna show you. Okay, I'm up six one against you, Chachi. Yeah, I know. I'm just, I'm just, just, I'm just gonna say that out loud. I'm beating you six one, and with two video games, I've destroyed you in those challenges. So, well, two, anyways, uh, well, <clears throat> first off, yo, words are not my friends. Okay, these are not words. <laughs> I know, but these are words, songs. words are not my friends, and in this one, it depends on who I'm playing as to how I do. So, cram it up anyways, your pie hole. What are you playing? Anyways, I'm also playing. I also picked up Borderlands too. Okay. Probably gonna play that in a. In a Under whose recommendation? Bit. Under Bobby's. The internet. <clears throat> and everybody else's. Bobby. Bobby gets no credit. What? Bobby gets credit. But I've also been playing some of the Deadliest Warriors Ancient Combat games, which is basically just the first two games combined. And then I'm also still playing Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Which I'm going to have a story about that tomorrow, which I just found out a couple hours ago that something really fun just came up. Awesome. <laughs> Leaving well, you in suspense. Chachi. Yes. What? What you Conquer's play? good for What I do? What? Yeah, I played, I played the challenge. Um, we, I'm, actually, I'm actually addicted to the challenge. Um, it's kind of a fun game. So, yeah. Oh, hey, look at that. Curtain's on my head. Um, yeah, uh, it, it's a really fun game. Um, and since I took a vacation from everything <laughs> uh, over this past weekend, I had spent a lot of time playing GTA 4 and uh, Plants vs. Zombies. So, Bobby. Yes. Well, it, since you don't like challenges that I pick... I didn't... <laughs> Wait, wait, you picked the game? Since, I thought Riz picked the game. Since you don't like challenges that other people pick, okay. what is uh, what is this week's challenge? Friend? Quest for the Crown 2. No, I'm just kidding. I will, <laughs> just kidding. I will, I will go um, over to John there, and There's a game on Xbox Live. I can't remember the name of it. Um, I was going to su suggest that one. Um, let me look it up quick here. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, though. It's... um. Hurry up! It's 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 a Hurry it's a up. game on Xbox. Okay. Live. Bobby, this depends you, on you. You, you have like is, you're you're like a, a kung fu warrior. 
Hey, Riz. Yes. Lego movie, go. <laughs> oh, Lego movie? Yeah. Uh, Lego Forrest Gump. Uh, Someone's already Tra- said that. I know. Lego. Okay, Lego. Lego. Lego Finding Nemo. I think that was already said. Was it? Lego Finding Nemo 3D. Oh, you cheating bastard. Bobby, what is the name of this game? I can't find it. Fine. What is your least favorite or favorite bad guy type creature to encounter in a game? Riz. Uh, both of mine, both of, this is a tie between me and, and both multiplayer of Mass Effect 3 and in single player. Uh, you come across two types of people that I just want to strangle. <laughs> and one of them I can't because they would actually kill me. Uh, one of them is a phantom who is a, like, a ninja. And he's, or no, this is she. She stabs people in the heart and insta kills them. Or if you're far away, you, you don't think she has a gun. Oh, her sword's a gun. Oh, then you die. Hmm. But the other one is the uh, Banshee in Mass Effect 3. Or in, I think he, they were in one as well. Which is a very powerful, very dangerous creature who, uh, who is completely naked while you fight. <laughs> but for my favorite, for my favorite bosses, uh, is any of the masks stages in Majora's Mask or the Great Mighty Pooh? Ooh. Bobby, Bobby? Uh, my least favorite was, and the basis of this question are Rax from uh, Borderlands. One of the worst creatures ever invented. I hate bats with a passion, and they're part bat, part just like razor wing dragon creature. When you shoot them, they fly at you and still hit you after they're already dead. So they're, they're awful. Um, one of my favorite creatures in, in a video game would be the little helmet guys from Mega Man. Love those dudes. <laughs> so, Bobby, I gotta ask you, you mm-hmm. you don't you don't like bats? I hate bats. I can I can Is I can Zubat become Batman Pokemon? if it weren't for my lack of wealth and lack of activity. <laughs> Bobby, Zubats. Yes. Zubats. Zubats are okay. They're from okay. Pokemon. They're That's they're good. harmless. But they have uh, very sharp teeth. Yeah, I know, but they're they're they're, they're fiction. I have Rax, to say Rax, uh my least favorite bad guy in a video game are probably the the poison toads from Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. Um, just because chances are, as soon as you walk into that battle, you're going to get bitten and poisoned, and it sucks. Especially early on in the game, because you don't really have access to like healing potions or anything yet. You just have to hope that you find one. Um, and I think my favorite bad guy of all time uh, would probably have to be... Uh, shy guys, or Goombas. I I I think those. It's it's a toss up between those from Mario and uh, I forget what they're called, but those little jumping grasshopper crab looking things from Final uh, from Legend of Zelda. Tectites. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Those those things are cool. I like them because they just bounce around and. They don't really try to attack you, but they end up doing it anyhow. So, yeah. Good questions, Bobby. Okay. Did you find the challenge yet, Bobby? Yeah, what is the challenge, no, Bobby? I can't find it. Fine. This week's challenge is Major Mayhem. I have no idea where to get it, but it was in the notes. It's on iPhone. iPhone? Okay. iPhone, iOS, and I think Android as well. All right, fine. That's it this. is by Adult Swim. Okay. So It'll be a fun game. If you like the... Uh, oh, there it is. It's over in the video feed, if unicorn, you're listening. Robot Unicorn Dragon, or whatever it's called. Yeah. You're going to like this game. Okay. Moving on. Major Mayhem is this week's challenge. Sorry, Bobby. Maybe next week. That's all right. Uh, uh, do you have any particular gaming rituals? Uh, uh, things that you do before, during gaming, that you just don't feel right, feel right gaming without doing? Um, for example... Uh, <laughs> I have a, a pretty ridiculous gaming station set up. 
Um, it, it's a, uh, my favorite recliner, um, entirely too close to my desk and, uh, an end table that usually has caffeine and snacks on it. And if I'm playing online with friends, I have to put on a hat before I put on my turtle beach headset. And I have to take off my, at least my belt. Like if I don't, like if I come home from work and I'm going to sit down and play games with friends, or if I'm just going to uh, start gaming myself, I have to either switch to shorts or just take off my belt. Cause it gets irritated after a while. And just, it, it's, if I don't do those things, then uh, it's useless for me to sit down and game because I'm not going to be gaming very long. Uh, Riz? Uh, besides, you know, lighting incense and turning off all the lights. Oh, shut up. Getting the mood all set. <laughs> um, but no, the only thing I really do is I, I try to stop going totally in-depth into my game. So I do bring my laptop I'm actually looking at my uh, home screen for Xbox right now because I just got done playing uh, Borderlands 2 for a while. Um, but yeah, that's all I do. I just try to look up everything on... Well, the only thing I don't do is look up cheats and all that stuff. But I do, you know, go to Twitters and Facebooks and book faces and Friendsters and MySpace and Plurk. But other than that, no. I keep my pants on. So do I. Look at that. Wow, high five. <laughs> Hi. Woo. Bobby. Um, usually I just sit sit on my comfy chair and just uh usually have a drink with me, just chill and play video games. That that's pretty much my only ritual. Uh I'm pretty boring. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Russell. Hey. Russell fans said that uh, shy guys are the best because they are too adorable to be bad guys. All right, and Bobby, why don't you uh, tell us what this week's boss fight is? Uh, this week's boss fight is um, with the announcement of the price of the Wii U, uh, two hundred ninety nine dollars and two hundred fifty dollars respectively, and the release date and sometime in November. Uh, will you buy the Wii U at launch when a bigger game comes out or not at all, Chachi? Uh, not at all. Uh, well, I, I take that back. I will eventually buy the, uh, the Wii U because that's what I do. But, uh, the only reason I will buy a Wii U is, uh, for Zelda. It's the only reason I've bought, uh, Nintendo systems from GameCube on uh, I have no interest in anything that Nintendo is trying to do with this system. Um, and, and, and until, honestly, they prove otherwise, <clears throat> the uh, the separate screen is just a novelty. I, I, until I, they flat out prove that this is a an essential part of the game and is worth the $300, then, you know... Uh, and, and the main reason is Nintendo's always been releasing, well, not always, recently been releasing inferior systems. Uh, it, for example, the Nintendo Wii U only has what this current generation of Xbox and PlayStation mm -hmm. has. So why am I going to go out on release day and drop $300 uh, for something that's going to be outdated as soon as the uh, I open the box? Exactly. Uh, uh, Riz, I'm I'm on the same page as you. Uh, it, it's it's not that I don't like the Wii U as a system. It's just that there's nothing that piques my interest. I mean, it's great that it has you know the dual screen and it can be touch screen and a camera and all this cool stuff. But I don't have any games that I want to play on the Wii or the Wii U at all. I, I don't, and in two and three years, if there is going to be a Zelda game as they are suggesting there will be, why, why would I want to wait that long to buy it? Right. If if it if they really wanted to pique my interest, they would have had something there. And I know it's I know what it's not you know something right, but you just go out there and say, hey, look. 
in a few years, look what you're going to get. <laughs> it's a Zelda game. Yeah. And that's all you had to do. That's it. Uh, I don't care for, you know, Mario with a lot of coins. But uh, That's DS. Whatever. <laughs> but see how much I paid to pay that. Mm, yeah. Uh, but, but still, it's like, plus also the Wii U controller. It reminds me of get a big chunkier Game Gear from Sega. And also reminds me of, let's see, a PlayStation Vita, only bigger and a lot less cool. But other than that, I don't want to touch that thing until, until like Chachi said, Zelda comes out. Yeah. I, it, if it comes out. It, it, and if it's going to be a few years, then by the time Zelda comes out, the price is going to be dropped enough, or I can pick up a used one. Mm-hmm. Just for Zelda, or and there's going to be like another, another system coming out or something like that. Right, Bobby. Um, I'm probably like like you guys. I'm not going to buy it on launch. Uh, the six month uh, six month launch window, as they say, they're like, oh, there's going to be at least fifty games in the first six months of the system. Yay! None yeah, of them are Zelda. None of them are that's, Zelda. That's no. the, that's the big that's the big game that everybody wants. Um, I know they're trying to perfect in HD, make the game look nice and everything like that. I I bought – I have a Wii. It's collecting dust right now. My sister uses it to watch net, Netflix every once in a while. The, Bobby, my sister uses it to clean watch that. Netflix. You clean it. Uh, yeah, I should clean it. I bought Skyward Sword. I have not played it yet because I just can't bring myself to play with the, the Wii. I don't know why, what it is about the system. I just don't care for it. Um. Some I was listening to something I forget who said it, but um, Nintendo has picked up the torch where Sega left off with bad ideas, mm-hmm. and <laughs> oh man, it's just you made Sorg behind the boards <laughs> laugh with that one. It, it it's true though they have it, they it they've true. carried on Sega's tradition of bad ideas, and it's just now that Sega's out of the race, they have not they're, they're the ones that with the bad ideas now. And when uh, can I just go off of yours, Bobby? Yeah, go ahead. When the announcement came out about the Wii U, and last a few weeks ago, when the, the announcement came out of the, the everything that's going to happen with the Wii U, I'm just sitting there and thinking, "This is this is like the Sega Dreamcast." Mm-hmm. It it just reminds me so much of the Sega Dreamcast, and I own the Sega Dreamcast, but it it just seems like their last ditch effort. Oh, I can't see it from here. With the way the uh, old studio was set up, you could see the Sega Dreamcast from where I sit, but it's still <laughs> right over there. Um, the Dreamcast now it's, in yeah. the cor- now it's ca- crawled up in the corner and like the Dreamcast uh, was a great system. It was just poor system. planning on Sega's just, part because they're Sega. like they're like, and you can buy it today, and everybody's like, oh, I didn't save up any money for it or anything <laughs> like that. Oh well, but uh, yeah. all right, uh, let's go to the chat room quickly. Uh, uh, before we do that, I just have one more thing to say. Uh, Nintendo, this is coming from the guy with the Triforce tattooed on his hand. On my hand. Mm-hmm. If you're going to release a new system, there better fucking be a Zelda game at launch. Oh, but wait, though. It's, he's in Adventure Land or whatever, isn't he? Nintendo yeah, Adventure about- Land or something? No, I'm that's sorry. Not, that's not a Zelda game. No. That's going to be terrible. Uh, go into Nobody... The- Oh, nobody's going to buy Wii U to go to an amusement park. Another, uh, just uh, one, uh, we have a couple comments on that from on this in the chat room. Uh, Russell fan said, uh, way to be creative. Uh, really, Wii U, another game in the Mario franchise. Uh, and then he said that uh, also the fact that to buy another one of the controllers is $170 or whatever. Mm-hmm. So, um Yeah, it, Alexander in the chat room said that he would buy it if he had the money uh, on the launch. Uh, why? Yeah. <laughs> and then he said, uh, uh, Zelda game at launch, uh, Super Smash Brothers by next year, make it happen, Cap. Well, the, yeah, the, the, only, the only game that I was impressed with at launch <laughs> is Zombie U. That's the only one and that they showed that I was like, oh, I could play that. Hey, 
if I want to play a zombie game, I have a PC, I have an Xbox. Yeah, Left 4 Dead. There's, right. Yeah, tons of games. I, I, I don't need... I, I don't need... Uh, Was there a Super Mario Kart, like, announced yet? No. Uh-uh. No. Uh, John Fun said uh, it probably he'd probably do it too, being a Nintendo loyalist growing up. Uh, has absolutely nothing to do with it that now. Yeah, no. Uh, this is not Nintendo as we knew it. Um, that is all the time we have this week on Insert Coin to Begin Presents Let's Play. I want to thank Bobby and Riz from joining, or for joining welcome, me this sir. week. For joining uh, you. Yes. Uh, you can welcome. you can find uh, Bobby on Twitter at BobbyFJTown. Riz is on Twitter at RizIUP. They both write for Insert Coin to Begin.com. Gaming news for gamers by gamers. I'm at Chachi Says. Tweet us. We'll tweet you back. Uh, you can follow Insert Coin on Twitter at Insert Coin TB. You can follow us on Google Plus, Facebook. Go to the website, leave comments, talk to us. We'll talk back. So join the extra life. Yeah, that's what I was just gonna thing. say. Go ahead, pitch it. Join Extra Life. It is a great organization. Uh, we started a team up there. It's in, it's Team Insert Coin to begin. You can donate to either me, Bobby, uh, Cat. Uh, and Sarah. the friend of a show, friend of the show, uh, Sarah, who is a Canadian, Canadian. Yep. But you can also, you can actually join the team and help the fight as well. Uh, we are, we are going to try to play 24 hours straight video games for you, the donors. All so right. thank you. So, We're uh, need fire energy. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. 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 Thanks for joining us this week. Be sure to tune in at live.sorgatron.media or sorgatronmedia.com. Sorgatron.media.com. Backslags. Uh, yeah, join us each week around about 8 30 ish, 8 o'clock ish. We're here live. Join the chat. We'll talk to you. Yeah. Bye, guys.